Okay. We've started. I'm Have in the, we started? I'm in the corner. You're, in the, you're like a little head in the like corner. A, like a floating head. <laughs> good morning. And then on good that... Good morning, good morning. Oh, that, I'm in charge of the mouse this morning and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> click on the YouTube window. Yeah. In about five seconds' time, you should magically see... Uh, it says we're live. We're live. And all the comment, the comment window should... Uh, Is this the comment window? I don't know. <laughs> Chat, chat. There oh, we hello. Here we go. Well, you're in charge this I'm in morning. Charge. So ah! off you go. Hello. <laughs> I'm, at a, I'm at a mere head in the corner. Your head in the corner. Hello. Good morning, everyone. No, I'm here. I'm totally here. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Can we just do one thing? Yes, do it. Because <laughs> I, I find it disconcerting not to be able to see Let's do that. Okay, what, what we're like. And then hang on, you can still see the chat window here. Uh, and then you keep see, it, by, keep it like that. That's why you're always in charge of the computer. Brilliant. Good morning. Uh, thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, this is a very short live, uh, especially uh, for families, but also uh, big kids as well. So anyone can join in, but we're going to be doing a transport related craft activity for you this morning uh, in association with uh, Transport Sparks. Who are uh, just go to Facebook. If you're on Facebook, just type in the search for the group Transport Sparks run, definitely admin by our friend Anushka. Uh, if, you, if you've got a, a, a child with autism, it's National Autism Awareness Week, it is, by the way, this it week. Is. Uh, but they're a group that specifically go out and they organise activities for families and children alike or for young adults up to about the age of 25. And they just basically just hang out and all they all get together and have fun. That's so good time. Uh, search for Transport Sparks online on Facebook and then you can feel like uh, you're not alone and you're part of a group. Um, Talking of which, we all know that we're here because we're all at home. So again, just just shout, hey, yes, Hello. that's me. If you're at home, I'm at home by yourself, I'm at home, feeling weird, I'm at home, feeling like the world has gone into disarray. But <laughs> well, we're going to make it fun. This one's shorter. We're just doing half an we're hour. We're doing half an hour. Yeah. You realise some of you might have short attention spans. Such as myself. Uh, so, uh, so yes, today we are going to be planning and designing our own railway line. Woohoo! Right here. So um, I'm going to be issuing some uh, crafty instructions and Jeff is going to be uh, visualising those on the board. But if you're at home, uh, could you go and grab some paper? Um, ideally, if you've got three or four sheets of paper, uh, just lay them next to each other. You can stick them together later if you want to, but if you just lay them together, if you're on the table or on the floor, uh, put them together side by side. If you've got four, you could put two more sheets underneath to make a square. If you've only got one piece of paper, it will still work, uh, but go and do that now. And that is going to become, those sheets of paper are gonna become our map, because we're not just gonna draw a railway line, we're gonna think about how actual engineers and how actual railway planners put together uh, a railway network. Uh, and to do that, you need to know where your railway is going to go. So what we're going to do first is we're going to draw a map of the area where our railway is going to go. What's happening in the comments? Oh. Because I can't see. I, you need to, you're just in charge. tuned in. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hello. Just lots of hellos. Excellent. Lots of hello from Glasgow. Hello, Glasgow. Uh, shout out to Evan, age six in Nottingham. Hello, Evan. We don't do shout um, outs. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. We're not shouting out. No shout out for Evan. Um, right. So if you've got your pieces of paper in front of you, uh, somewhere... I'm, I'm going to use this white... We've cheated because I'm using a whiteboard, by so, the way. So this is our sheet of yeah. paper. Um, somewhere... Uh, you, you're ruining it already, Jeff. I'm just saying that if I, if I go wrong, I can then just... And my dry razor isn't working. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? You can just rub it out? Do you need to get a, go, a squirty thing? I'll go get my spray. <laughs> uh, while Jeff does that... Somewhere on your sheet of paper, either from top to bottom, so top to bottom, or left to right, or corner to corner, I want you to draw a river, a big river. It can be a windy river, or it can be quite a straight river, but somewhere uh, on your uh, map, from, from one, so one side to the other, draw a river. So I've got to do like a big river. A big river. So either top to bottom or left to right go, or left. corner to corner. So you've got a little windy river. I love it. Like that. Yeah. Lovely. Can I do some little blue sort of waves? Yeah, yeah, to yeah. Indicate water. Yeah. So anywhere along the way, feel free to put in lots of detail. Um, then from your river, 
you can have a little stream, little stream coming off your river. So somewhere along your river, uh, there's going to be a little tributary that's coming off the river. So somewhere, Jeff, wherever you would like to have a little stream. There we go, lovely. A little stream coming off the river. Maybe where you go paddling sometimes, there's a nice little gentle river. Brilliant. So we've got our large river and we've got a little stream running from the river. We've got a stream on a live stream. Yay! <laughs> uh, okay, so somewhere else on your map, doesn't matter where, there's a town. People live in this little town. I like to call it Vicky Town. Um, and in my town, there's a castle, obviously. Uh, so maybe draw, you can do what Jeff's done. You can draw a little square and label it. Or maybe you want to draw uh, little houses, put a castle in if there's room, um, a shop, a little cafe. Uh, you don't have to call it Vicky Town. You could call it Evan Town or you could call it Jeff Town. Well, call, you could name it after yourself. This is your map. Um, so you've got a little town. Uh, people going about their daily business. Most of them staying at home at the moment, obviously. Oh, it's the, 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 the town name has changed. <laughs> There's been a ceremony. It's not Vicky Town anymore. It's Jeff Town. Lovely. So we've got a little town. And then somewhere else on your map um, is a farm. Uh, so maybe you've got some crops. How do you draw a farm? So maybe you've got... Do you want me to help? No, I'll just Where would you like your farm? I'm going to do a sheep. Ah, oh, lovely. So maybe your farm um, raises sheep, so lots of sheep running around. Maybe your farm grows carrots. Maybe you could draw some little carrots sticking out of the ground. I've done a fence with a sheep. Amazing. Maybe there's a barn, a barn for the sheep to go in at night. So you've got a little farm. Uh, maybe write, a tractor. I'm going to write the word farm. A little tractor. Oh, McDonald, this is he did have a farm. the worst farm ever. <laughs> I like it. Your sheep looks a bit wonky, but I like it. Like a dog. A dog. A dog sheep. I love it. Uh, so you've got a little farm. Um, I don't know where they're going with this, by the way. You don't? We haven't rehearsed this. It's going to be so much fun. All right. A town uh, and a farm. farm. And then somewhere else on your map, it doesn't matter where, you can decide where you want to put it, are uh, some beautiful hills. Oh. Some beautiful hills where people like to go walking. Um... Obviously at two metres distance from each other at the moment. But the beautiful hills. And at the bottom of the hills, there's a little cafe where people can oh. have a cup of tea before they go or when they finish their walk. Um, so lots of people like to climb these beautiful hills. I'm going to put people on top of my hills. Amazing. Fantastic. There we go. Okay. These are very large people. Well, yeah, they're, gi they're giants <laughs> going for walk. Uh, even giants have to go for they a walk do, yeah. every now yeah, and again. Yeah. Um, so we're going to pause a little just to let people catch up because that was quite a few things to do. Uh, don't worry if not everything is complete on your map at the moment because when we finish, when we go off air, you can spend some time really finessing and really getting in the details of your farm and your town. And your mountains, but we do have a few other things to put on the map. What's happening in the comments? Uh, so in the comments, put, put, someone's saying you, they need, you need to put me and you on the map. Maybe oh. this is us walking. Oh. You're very tall, yeah. so maybe you could be the very tall person. And who, who's the third person? Uh, our friend Avril. There we go. Avril likes to go walking. She should, she should, <laughs> have, a she should have a drink in her hand though. There She's having a, a glass of water <laughs> or bottle of water if you're up a hill, I imagine. So that's Jeff. Um, that's Vicky. Somebody's going to draw another castle. That's Excellent. If you just drew castles, you could call it Castle Town. There we go. Perfect a town. A town that's just full of Perfect castles. Perfect town. Oh, someone's saying you need to draw a pret in Jeff Town. That's true, actually. You need a little pret, a <laughs> little cafe. Oh, the cafe shouldn't, shouldn't be... Yeah, that should be a pret. That should be a pret cafe. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Excellent work, people. <laughs> Excellent work. Uh, what I'm else? This, it's been two weeks since I've been in a pret. <laughs> How are you doing, Jeff? Bad. <laughs> uh, Jeff d does like a good pret uh, sandwich, I have to say. Uh, so we've just paused for a little, uh, just to catch up. But don't worry what, if you haven't pret finished. Similar? It's like a star, it's isn't a star, it? Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to think how the pret star, star goes. I'm trying yeah. to do a little... Um, any more questions? Someone's saying the hills could be the Malvern Hills. They are very beautiful hills. Um, any other comments... 
This isn't an April Fool's. No, this is an actual this activity an actual, yeah, no. that we're doing. We didn't realise when we set the date. Was it last week? We just <laughs> yeah. went, yeah, let's just Wednesday. do Wednesday of next week. And then, and then let's do it 11 o'clock in the morning because that's a child-friendly, kid-friendly time. Yeah. And then someone went, doing it on April the 1st before midday. Did you realise? <laughs> we were like, oh, mm. yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've got a few more things. Let's get back to our map. We've got a few more things. Um... This uh, piece of land is very important. It has a very important pond. A pond? A pond with lots of beautiful wow. wildlife. So, ducks. So ducks, some rare dragonflies like to skim across the pond. A uh, very good pond. Love it. Maybe some reeds coming out of the side. So there's a little sort of nature reserve area and it has a pond, a very important pond. Um, with lots of wonderful and beautiful wildlife. That's a duck and a, and a dragonfly. And they're going to put some, some, some reeds, reeds in. Some reeds. Lovely. Lovely. Maybe put a few trees around it as well. It's a little nature reserve area. Some trees. Yeah. <clears throat> beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. Some frogs. I think frogs definitely. Someone said frogs. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> some sparrows. Yeah, some little birds coming in. What? I'm not. <clears throat> so it's a lovely little <laughs> nature reserve area. So all the animals you can think of. Um, we often see uh, some little robins uh, in our garden on our neighbour's tree next door. We, we saw a blue tit yesterday. We did see a blue tit yesterday. And then we quite often get, what's the black and white birds that come in and they nibble the, uh, the magpies. magpies come like in. Like shiny things. Get a lot of magpies. We do get a lot of magpies. And pigeons, obviously. Yeah. Um, so yeah, tadpoles. You might get tadpoles in the pond, absolutely. Um, kingfishers. Oh, I love a good kingfisher. Beautiful. I've just realised I can sit here. Oh, well done. <laughs> it's taken me ten minutes to okay. realise I don't have to crouch on the floor. Fantastic. A swan. <laughs> you could have a swan. The po if your pond is big enough, the swans would like to live there, I'm sure. Um, the last thing there's we're going to put... There's something else. There's one more thing we oh need to put on goodness. our map that's very important. Right, and, we, then, and then we're doing the trains. And then we're doing the trains. All right. Uh, this is a, a big town, Jeff Town's big town. It has a prep, probably, uh, and a supermarket. But we need a little village, a tiny village with maybe a few little houses. Hmm. Um, somewhere, on doesn't matter where um, you put it. Somewhere. Tiny little village. Maybe one of those cottages that has a thatched roof, so it has dried straw on its roof. Um, so maybe there's like three or four little houses so that could, it could even be a hamlet, which is a tiny, tiny, tiny village. Um, so it's a really small little village with a local pub. Yeah. And a little post office, maybe. <laughs> um, so it's a time. Oh, I love your little village. That's so cute. No, it looks like mud huts <laughs> that you might no, get. It's a thatched roof. It is. It's little meant to be a thatched, thatched roof. roof. Yeah. Can you see Great. it in here? That's meant to be my... my Lovely. <laughs> Okay, so we need to get onto the trains bit because that's yes. that is why we are all here. Because I've got so, my I've got my different coloured pens ready for, for train action. Brilliant. So again, don't worry if you don't feel like you've finished everything on your map. Once we go offline, you can put all the details in, you can put colours in, you can do whatever you like to your map. Uh, but just make sure you know where all these different things are going to be. So we've got a town, we've got a farm, we've got some lovely hills where people go walking, we've got a tiny little village, and we've got a little wildlife area with a pond. What's happening in the comments? Uh, Jeff's Toadstool Village. It does look like a little toadstool, it's very cute. Um, draw and all the station shop, someone said, <laughs> to sell our merchandise. I can do the logo. <laughs> well, I'll do that when we do the... We're about to do the trains. We right? are about to do the trains. This is the important bit. So, this this is the area where you are going to build a brand new railway line. OS map number 187. It is. <laughs> so, you're going to... But this, this is where you need to build your railway line. Where Whatever map you have drawn, this is the area where your railway is going. But... There are some rules to building a railway. Oh man. Because you can't just put a railway wherever you want. So we've got a few rules. So if you're watching with your parents or grandparents or aunties or uncles or your friends, whoever you're at home with, um, you need to make sure that everybody sticks to the rules. So the rules are you can you can use as much railway track as you like. You can doesn't matter how much track you use, that's okay. But you can only build two stations. You've only got enough money 
for two stations. What? So you're going to have to decide... But we've done five things. Who gets <gasps> a station? What? Who gets to have a station and who doesn't get to have a station? So you can only build two stations. You can only build two bridges. You can only build two bridges. So you've got this big river and a stream and you might have to cross it, but you have to decide where you're going to put your two bridges. You can only build one viaduct. So if you want a viaduct, <laughs> you can only have one of them. So you need, again, what does it, what is a viaduct for, Jeff? When do we build a viaduct? It's going through a valley, really. So if you've got two pieces of land that are high up yeah. and in the middle it dips, yeah. so you often build a viaduct with the arches to connect the high bits of land. Yeah. Oh, you can have a river going through it. You can yeah. have a river in the valley and the viaduct goes across, yeah. across everything. Yeah, yeah. Have I got to draw a viaduct? Yes, you have. Oh, um, and then you can only build one tunnel. Oh, if you what? want a tunnel... You can only have one of Hang them. Hang on, we're only linking up two, two of the things by station. So you need to decide. Yeah. You need to decide who and where there should be a station. Should the town have a station? Well, the town's got to have a station. Uh, but what about the farmer? Doesn't he need to get his produce somewhere? Well, he, no, he could or just... Or she, he could obviously. Have, he could just have, like, a track and they deliver their produce by, by you know, car. Okay. Lorry. But people truck. who want to go walking, they might not have a car, so what if you put a train station there? Can you have, like, a tiny request stop? You, know, <laughs> like... you can only have two stations. It doesn't matter how, what size they are. There can only be two of them. Well, surely you've got to go from the town to, to the village. That's up to you. You're building the railway, so you have to decide where everything is going to go. So, you might want to talk together, decide where you best think what all if, of these things need to go. What if future funding were available? Should we safeguard our roots so that in the future, <laughs> if more money becomes available for, you know, extra stations, yeah, yeah. should we at least build the route near the other things, even if there isn't a station there, in case we want to put... A st I'm asking you. <laughs> you can build the railway however you like, as long as you stick to these rules. So these are the rules. So you might want to have a chat with each other, decide what, what, what you think is the most important thing. You also have to remember things like this nature reserve is, is, is very, very important and delicate animals live there. If you build well, I'm not, I'm not, through I'm not, this nature reserve, what would happen to them? I'm not going to put my railway near the nature reserve. At all? No. But what if people want to visit the nature reserve? Like, like Lake and Heath. Yes. Station. Is there a nature reserve there? There's an RSPB nature reserve, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So? Uh, well, they should... Uh, well, that's why I feel like I'm constrained by your two station... <laughs> Who put you in charge? Me. Why is there only, why is there only two stations? Why can't you have... Okay, we've got some questions. Okay. Oh, someone, oh, was someone saying they would build the nature reserve to... F uh, to farm. Nature reserve to farm. That's where your line would go. So you want to link up the two. You could do that. But you'd have to think about the animals and you have to think about protecting them as you build your line. Do we have any other questions about the rules? I have a question. Yes. Not really. But I'm going to put my railway through the hills. Because you, you I, I have quite... one, one tunnel. Yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking put my tunnel through the hill. But also there's that great moment where you're walking out in the countryside and suddenly like a train suddenly like appears from, okay. from like a tunnel. And you're like, oh, and it's kind of, you're like actually up high and you're looking down into the cutting. So, so you're, gonna... you're thinking of good photography moments. Yes. And not perhaps what's best nope. for, the, for the people in this, uh, in so this I'm, area. I'm going to put my, my tunnel. It's going to go here. Uh, any questions? Sorry, I got distracted by Jeff's question. But uh, footbridges. Ooh, we haven't thought about footbridges. Um, I'm going to allow footbridges. Yes. Uh, so the path of your railway is only allowed to go over two. There are only two railway bridges, but you can use footbridges uh, for people if you'd like to. So good question. Good question. What? I have a question. Uh, can we have a tunnel? You can have a tunnel, but only one. You're only allowed one. So I'm going to hold the rules here. Hopefully they're readable. Build a station to the car park and you can do a little park and ride system. <laughs> Love it. Brilliant. Park and ride. Perfect. Uh, That's very good. Can it go over the road? So we've not actually put any roads on our map. So if you want to add some uh, motorways or roads for cars, uh, you can do that if you'd like to. 
but in our drawing we're we're trying to we're trying to think as simply as possible at this stage but if you want to add roads add some roads um a railway crossing so if the railway goes through the town you would definitely need some uh, level crossings definitely uh Je Jeffstershire Parkway, they're saying. Call your station. Jeffstershire. We've, we've, <laughs> we've not been there yet. That's, the, that's there. the one station we haven't been to. The thing we need to obviously discuss at some point is what kind of trains are running on your well, railway. Paces, kind of... <laughs> obviously. Um, does the does a thriving underground system in the town? Maybe. That's maybe the future part of your railway system. Uh, oh, I have a question. Yes. Do you get to name the stations? Of course. Oh, okay. Yeah. What, any name you want. Any name you want. Oh, this, this is, is your great. railway. Oh, this, is great. Okay. this is your railway. Well, can I explain my thinking so, so far? far? So far. So far. Yeah. So my rail. I'm assuming that the railway has come from you know someone else's map. Would it be amazing? Ooh, if we, we could link, if them, we could all link them all together. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, yeah. That it's so it's going near the farm. Ooh. So the poor old farmer is like, oh, yeah, I can Gets see. Gets disturbed at five o'clock in the yeah, morning. Yeah, I can see the truck. Well, he's up anyway, milking or the she? cows. Or she? They're up anyway, like milking the cows at five. Yeah, so... Uh, we assume that's the time farmers milk cows. We don't, we no, don't know. cows traditionally milk them like four or five in the morning. <laughs> Says who? Says the farming world. Oh, okay, well, great. Hang on, no, hang on. Wow, what a tangent. Correct, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, internet, but don't you sort of tend to milk cows twice a day? Once about five in the morning and once about five in the evening? That's pretty I mean, much... I grew up in the country, I don't know that. They've had their nap overnight. I love how we're on cows. And they wake up early. This is why well, you've got sheep, up. not cows. What are you worried about? Because we got talking about oh, okay. the cows. And you milk cows about five in the morning. And okay. then you put them out to pasture all day. And they eat grass and they have a nap and they, okay. and they moo around. <laughs> what do they do? They moo around. They moo around. And then you bring them back in. <laughs> to the, <laughs> to the, like that. <laughs> and then you milk them again. Okay. And you go, night, night, cows. YouTube, am I right? Am I am I right to any farmers out there? Is that right? Any friends of farmers, children of farmers? Is that not how the cow milk system uh, works? I've <laughs> named the station Vicky Castle. <laughs> Yay! No, tell me that I'm right about cows. Uh, five a.m. and five p.m. Okay. <laughs> They're just talking trains. No, no, no one really. No one cares about no one the cows. Cares about the ca poor cows. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, tell, talk us through. So it goes via the farm. Well, I'm going to call mine Cow Parkway. Okay. No. So near the farm, yeah. through the town, but my, I've, it's one, I've got a two-platform station facing platforms with a footbridge. Mm -hmm. Irritatingly, it's one of those ones where it's about a ten-minute walk out of town. Uh, so, it's like, it's like, so it's not called Jeff Town Station, it's, it's called... It's going to be something else. Something else. But it's one of those you know, where, the, where the station's on the fringe of the town. You have okay. to walk ten minutes to get okay. to, the, to the town centre. Okay. Which is a bit annoying. It then goes, to, oh, and we've gone over a bridge here. So one, one, that's one of your bridges. And then it goes, because it, it's easy to do, to do a bridge over the narrow stream. Over, over the stream. But the big river needs a tunnel. Oh, right? oh, you're tunnelling under the river. Yeah. Like the Thames Tunnel. Yeah. Oh, interesting. And then it cuts through the hills, so the walkers can see. And now, so, so you've got to cut into the hills themselves. Well, yes. Yeah, so, so it's not a tunnel. So then maybe my viaduct can go here. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw in my viaduct. Okay. The viaduct uh, is part of the the hill. Okay. System. Okay. Lovely. See, that would be a good f photography moment if you're walking in the hills. A beautiful viaduct. Also, for all engineer, like, um, for all engineer to have that kind of landscape to go from tunnel to hill, to yeah. go from tunnel to viaduct, or within a short space. That's yeah. quite good. But I don't know like whether... Like at Nairsborough. Like at Nairsborough. Yeah. But I don't know whether to, to serve the village or go off towards the nature reserve. What have Ooh. I got left? Have I got, I've got one bridge left. How many bridges? No, you've, no, you've used your bridges. You said two bridges. Yeah, you've done... T oh, no, tunnel. tunnel. Oh, I'm so sorry. What can I have? You can have one more bridge. Yeah. And one more station. Then I'm going to have to serve the village. Simple as that. It's going to go... But I'm going to... But this is an uh, this line is an old Victorian line. Oh, dairy farmer here. Yes, you are right. Yeah. <laughs> well <laughs> so done, Jeff. Who was the name of the dairy farmer? Uh, <laughs> I, uh, da Justice. Uh, somebody. It's I gone. can't. It's gone. Thank it's you, gone. sir, madam, whoever you were. Hello, dairy farmer. Mo Thank you, dairy farmers, for all all that Morning, you do, supplying evening. supplying us with beautiful dairy products to eat. And then during the day, the car cows go out to pasture and they do what? They, <laughs> do? they just moo <laughs> around. Cows are cool. Cows are cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> K 
Can there be a signal? Of course there can be a signal. You can decide where on your line you need signals. I'm going to put my railway Absolutely. right through the village, though. Like Will it be a semaphore signal? So an old-fashioned uh, arm semaphore signal. Uh, up and down, or will it be a modern electric signal? You decide. Uh, someone said Highland cow. Was I doing? Was I doing the the sound of a Highland cow? And that's my other um, bridge. Can there be a car tunnel? We're focusing on railways. We're not thinking about cars today. You can add some roads if you want uh, to. Uh, give extra detail to uh, your map, but we're not thinking about car tunnels today. We're thinking about railways. I've got to name my stations. You have? <sighs> Why are the walkers on the hills not social distancing? It's because they're so <laughs> far away, you can't see. It's perspective. They're actually, perspective. Ten, they're actually 10 metres apart. 10 metres apart, it just, yep. it's the, yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, how many platforms? Well, you can decide at your stations. Is it uh, Jeff's got a? So at my main station, yeah. two facing platforms. But at my remote village station, ah. it's only got a single platform. You see. Okay. So I've drawn one track, but really this could be double track here, and it goes. Okay. And it's just, yes. It's just representative. Because you can use as much track as you like. You can use as much track as you like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In fact, oh, how about this? How about this? I'm gonna have an old, spur. an old abandoned track, Ooh. right? Where it used to go somewhere else, but now just doesn't goes into nothing. Yeah, that's where the line used to go. It's abandoned. And what's this line known as locally? What's the urban legend for the name of this line? I don't know, but Paul Whitewick and Rebecca have been along there <laughs> and made a video about it. <laughs> so. Brilliant. Brilliant. Um, okay, we've got four minutes left. Okay. So this is Jeff's... This is Jeff's... Uh, I haven't named my station. Railway. What, what should I call my big main state? What should I call my big main... It's Jeff Town. It's Jeff Town, but Je but there's the stations station? outside of the town. Yeah, so I don't know what to call the station. Any suggestions? Wait for the twenty second. Oh, someone's saying the Harbour Branch Line. The Harbour, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Marshall Town Junction. Just call it Marshall. Well, there's no, but there's no junction. There's no junction. Good point. Uh, Jeff International, Jeff Express. Jeff Parkway. Oh, Parkway, because it's outside. I like Jeff Parkway. Jeff not, Parkway. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff Parkway. Jeff Parkway. Jeff South. Jeff South. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please call it Jeff South. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. Jeff South. Jeff South. <laughs> Love it. Crossrail Town. Ooh. <laughs> And then what? Poppleton! Somebody's just yelled Poppleton. Well, no, I'm going to make my village Poppleton. Oh, Yay for Poppleton! Poppleton. <laughs> really? And what kind of station is at your, is it Poppleton? What do you mean? What sort of, how many platforms? Oh, is it a request just, stop? Oh, it, okay. We're going to make Poppleton a request stop, a single Yay. platform request, request stop. stop. Could you make your intent clear? Lovely. Oh, Poppleton's nice. Very cute. Okay, lovely. So, uh, don't worry if you're still deciding uh, where you're going to put things. If you haven't quite finished yet, that's fine. Keep going. Once we've switched off, keep going. And what we would love for you to do is once you've finished designing your railway, take a picture and send it to us on Twitter. Um, and then we'll retweet some. We're, we're going to retweet every single one. This is going to be so much fun. So all um, day, take a picture of them and we're just going to retweet, 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 retweet. And we're going to see everybody's things. So, like, so like, like, don't finish now. Spend the next 10 minutes sort of finessing it and tidying it up and putting in some detail. Then take a picture. So don't have to do it like this second. And then we'll, we'll check our Twitter later and we'll yeah. just... Well, just retweet, or just, it will just be a stream of people's... Records. And you can be as fun and inventive as you like. We've said use paper and pens, but, you know, if you want to, like, get some old egg cartons and make little model things, you can do that. Could I bought we... a train. You could get you could get some trains if you've got trains uh, at home, and you can test out your track and your route. Choo-choo! Okay. No, as you pass the cows. Choo-choo! Let's stop there. How long are we? Is it just thirty seconds stop? Just thirty second it, changeover. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. What noise does it make as it goes through the tunnel? <laughs> what noise does it make as it goes over the viaduct? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, um, 
and uh, points in the right place. So I, sh I sh should draw in just a little. Some points. No, I'm going to do in the signal for the points to make, uh, to make excellent. sure. Excellent. Just a little excellent. signal there. You could make it out of brio if you've got brio. You could oh, make yeah. it. You could make it out of if you've got a train set at Hang home. Is there somebody sense. requesting Puppleton? Uh, yes. Making my intent clear. Stop. <laughs> Thank you so much. And could I have a single to Jeff South, please? That'll be. Uh, How much? Do you have a rail card? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do. I have, do have a an self isolating rail card. A self isolating <laughs> rail card. Which um, is where you get to sit in the carriage all, all by yourself. yourself. Yay. Um, brilliant. <laughs> that so should be a thing. We'll make sure that when this video goes up, um, on the, we'll put the rules in the description. Oh, will we? <laughs> I will, if you're from. Um, so, to remind you, so don't forget, these are the rules. Um, so, you need to stick to those very carefully. Um, quick, let's have a quick comment check before uh, we go. Yeah, but share with us, take some pictures and share them with us on at, Twitter. At all, at all the stations on Twitter and we'll, and we'll tweet all of uh, them. Jeff Intercity, uh, can there be, there be a depot? Oh! Ooh. See, you guys are so good. You've thought of things we haven't thought of. No. Oh, harsh but fair. Harsh but fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. No depot. <laughs> the depot's maybe, somewhere else. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Maybe we can design a depot. Yeah. That would be amazing. Um, uh, just other suggestions for... Can you do double line? You can, because you can use as much railway track as you like. So you can have, uh, you can have double track... Uh, yeah, absolutely. You can have some sidings if you want to. Um, right. Okay. Is that a half an hour? That is a half an hour. We're going to wrap it up. We're keeping this one short rather than an hour just because we know that uh, young ones have a shorter attention span. Please check out Transport Sparks on Facebook, uh, an, uh, an autism friendly, aware uh, group for families and people to sort of you know, meet and hang out and do things. And once this is all over, we can head back out on the trains again and they organise regular events and meetups and all that kind of stuff. So it's great. Go check them out. Transport Sparks on Facebook. Well done for not saying any naughty words this week. That's <laughs> so mean. So mean. We had to take the last video down because uh, Vicky, Vicky said something. It was the pressure of cutting your hair. It was the pressure. It was it's a good pressure. haircut though, right? Uh, but we really are excited to see your railways, so please do send them over. We hope you have fun uh, inventing your own railway line and creating your own maps. Um, so please do share them with us. And if you enjoyed it, maybe we'll do another one. Maybe we'll come up. I'll come up with another activity yeah. that we can do. Maybe we'll do one uh, in a week or so's time. Although the next regular live stream will be here Friday night, this Friday, probably between eight and nine pm again. Uh, I'm doing a tube quiz. Like, like a imagine we're in a pub. You're doing it. What am I doing? Uh, you're taking part in. Oh, okay. in my, like I've had to obey your instructions. Okay. Today. You've got. To, Got I'm it. gonna. You're gonna sit in the other room. <laughs> Shouting the Shouting answers. The okay. like, I think number twelve is. All right. You could sit here and you could take part. Okay. As well. All right. Okay. So we'll do a tube quiz. Okay. Uh, Can I come up with a team name? You, yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Distracting. But we'll put details on. Twitter and stuff, all the stations as per usual. That's it. You could, it's now your job oh, to hit stop. To, I'm in you charge. Have to stop the stream, Vicky. Bye. Bye. Ah. Moo.